Welcome back to another solo episode of B2B Growth. If you have not listened in the last couple of weeks, I've started doing these solo episodes just to give you a, a bit more of a peek inside of my own uh, my own brain and, and how I'm thinking and how I'm growing. Uh, and so really more like personal development and growth uh, as, as we grow our own business. And, uh, and so today I want to talk to you about some podcasts that I'm listening to that have really been influencing me lately. So I'm just going to pull up my podcast player and, uh, and go through some of these shows that I've been listening to. Obviously, if you're listening to B2B Growth, you're a fan of podcasts. I think you should subscribe to these shows as well. Some are business, some are not, uh, but this is just a peek into what I'm listening to. So the, the first one that pops up in, uh, in my podcast app is the Flip My Funnel podcast with my good friend Sangram Vajre over at Terminus. Uh, this show, we are actually producing their show for them. It's a daily show, five days a week. The format changes every day. Uh, it's I, I love what, what Sangram has decided to do with this show. It's just not the, it's not the standard kind of interview-based show. Every single episode, episodes change every single day. So he and I discuss like things about personal development on Wednesdays. He's talking to people from his team on, uh, on Thursdays. He's uh, talking to influencers on Tuesdays. Every, every day of the week changes. Um, and uh, so you should definitely check out the Flip My Funnel podcast. Uh, the, another podcast is 30 for 30 podcasts. If you are a uh, sports fan at all, you know, um, you know the 30 for 30 series from ESPN Films. They now have a podcast. Looks like the most recent one is about the Tanya Harding story. They've got one on John Madden that was really incredible that I enjoyed recently. Uh, it's a very, very highly produced show, uh, and, and I've, been, I've been loving it. So if, if you're a sports fan, check out 30 for 30 podcasts. Another podcast that I get a lot of value from is the Andy Stanley Leadership Podcast. Andy is a pastor at a church in Atlanta, uh, but his podcast is all about leadership and he does not, I think they touch on the faith stuff a bit, but he focuses much more on leadership principles, really solid leadership advice. Andy has, has been in, uh, in, in a leadership role for decades. And so he just brings a wealth of wisdom to that show. Uh, another podcast uh, that I get a ton of value from is called Build a Better Agency with my friend Drew McClellan. I have recently gotten to know Drew a whole lot better uh, in the last couple months. Uh, we're organizing a B2B growth dinner together in a couple weeks and I'm really excited about. And uh, Drew has just been uh, influencing uh, and mentoring agency owners for several, several years. I've been a fan of his show for a really long time. So to actually get to call him a friend now is, uh, is really special. So if you are an agency owner uh, and, and wanting to kind of grow your agency, be more efficient in your agency, um, you know, check out Build a Better Agency. I think you're going to get a ton of value from it. Another podcast is called Building a Story Brand with Donald Miller. Uh, Donald Miller has been on my radar for a really long time because he wrote a really famous book called Blue Like Jazz. And now he runs a uh, branding consultancy. They basically teach uh, businesses how to tell a better story. His podcast, I think what we get in a month, he's getting per episode. I mean, his podcast, uh, because of the personal brand that he brought to the show, um, before he, you know, well, long before he started a podcast and, and his business, um, his show has just downloaded a ton and for good reason, because it, it really is incredible content. So check out building a story brand. Uh, another podcast that I'm getting lots and lots of value from is a newer show called Community Made by a guy named Jason Gaynard. You might remember I had Jason on the podcast a few months ago. I want to say it was back in January. And uh, he wrote a book called Mastermind Dinners. And he, he was in large part, you know, the inspiration behind B2B growth dinners. Uh, and it just has, has had a tremendous impact uh, on, on my life these last few months. 
and really getting me uh, getting me to think about you know how I can uh, how I can deepen the relationships that we're building with our podcast guests by organizing these intimate dinners you know six to eight folks around a table just getting to know each other better and and kind of connecting the dots uh, between folks that should know each other but but don't so if you have not listened to community made definitely check check that podcast out I think you're going to get a ton of value from it. Uh, this next one is a pod, another podcast that we produce. It's for my friend Barb Giamanco. It's a podcast called Conversations with Women in Sales. If you are a woman listening to this, uh, this is it's an incredible show. Even if you're not a woman, I think you'll get a lot of value from listening to this podcast. Barb has uh, has interviewed a number of women in the sales profession, and the heart behind this show is really cool. Uh, she wants to not uh, you know not just be an encouragement to women that are already in sales roles, but to inspire young women that maybe never would have thought of sales as a profession to enter the industry. Um, and, and so really love what Barb is doing. And I think you're going to get a ton of value from that show. Uh, the next podcast is uh, similar to the Andy Stanley Leadership Podcast. It's a podcast called the Craig Groeschel Leadership Podcast. Craig is another pastor. He was actually my pastor uh, when I was living in Oklahoma. Uh, pastors of a church called Life Church, but his leadership podcast really doesn't have anything to do uh, with with faith. Um, it's much more about just proven leadership principles that you know are rooted in biblical truth. But uh, if you're not, you know, if you're if you don't come from a from a place of, you know, being a Christian or, or really, you know, care to hear anything about that. I think you'll listen to his podcast and still get a ton of value. Uh, this next podcast is a, po- a new podcast. They've only got one episode up. It's the intro episode, but it's one that I am very excited about because of how niche it is. Uh, I just had this guy on our podcast uh, a couple weeks ago. I don't even think the episode is live as I'm recording this right now. Um, but uh, his, guy, his name is Chris Handy. He's from a company called Close One. And uh, the podcast is called Drift to Go. So if you type in Drift to Go, three words, you'll be able to subscribe to this show. And they're going to be really short episodes, like I think five to 10 minute episodes talking about how people are winning using the tool Drift. If you're not familiar, Drift is a product that, that we've started using on our own site that allows you to have live chats with, uh, with your uh, prospects and customers that are coming to your website. Uh, and so I love how focused this show is. Uh, Chris's company closed one. They actually do, uh, they, they, they help companies with their live chat messaging, like getting the, the bot set up and, and, uh, and, and really establishing a strategy for companies that want to get into live chat. And so this podcast makes perfect sense for them, but it's also very niche. So if, uh, if maybe you just put drift on your, on your site, um, or even if you're not using drift, if you're using intercom or another service like that, I still think you'll get a ton of value, uh, from, from these little bite-sized episodes, learning just strategy and tactics. I think I'm going to be on that show in a few weeks to talk about, uh, how we're leveraging drift on our own site. So definitely subscribe there. Uh, another podcast, uh, is make it happen Mondays from John Barrows. Uh, so John uh, has been a friend of mine for uh, for probably a couple years now. We had him on the show a while back, and uh, I just love what he's all about. He he pulls no punches. A lot of you listening to this are probably well aware of John Barrows, so he doesn't need a long introduction. Um, he is he is a rock star when it comes to uh, to sales training. And uh, we're actually co-hosting a B2B growth dinner together in Boston next week that I'm really excited about. Uh, by the time this airs, I think it will probably have already happened. So you'll probably have seen some some pictures pop up on LinkedIn or uh, or something like that. But, but, uh, but I, I really think if you're not already listening to Make It Happen Mondays from John Barrows, you need to be. Uh, another podcast that I'm getting a ton of value from is Sales Pipeline Radio from Heinz Marketing. So Matt Heinz over at Heinz Marketing. Uh, again, just, you know, Matt is crushing it right now on LinkedIn. I, I love the content he's putting out really thoughtful, insightful posts that just, uh, force B2B marketers to think, uh, to, to think more critically, um, in, in my opinion, to think better, uh, about the 
activity that they're doing and how you can uh, do activities that actually drive results instead of just doing uh, kind of the, the standard playbook that a lot of B2B organizations are doing. So uh, please subscribe to Sales Pipeline Radio. I think you're going to get lots and lots and lots of value from it. I know I sound like a broken record, but I wouldn't be telling you about these podcasts if they weren't tremendously beneficial for me. Uh, the next one is called Seeking Wisdom from David Cancel and Dave Gearhart at Drift. This one's great. Uh, it's a business podcast, but they don't get into too much of the nitty gritty. You know, this is how you run a Facebook ad. It's not that type of content. It's, it's a lot of personal development. You know, they're bringing on their mentors, and uh, and and people that have really influenced them, and they're talking about ideas that uh, that that are just really interesting. And and so if you are listening to this, I think uh, you're probably already subscribed to Seeking Wisdom, to be honest, because Drift has just done a phenomenal job building their brand and and getting awareness for what they're doing. But if you are not, then make sure and check out that podcast. Um, this next one that I'm going to talk to you about is uh, is the Mackie Speaks. Uh, leadership journal and so he just rebranded this show uh, to to this name Um, it was uh, I'm trying to think I can't even remember the name of it Uh, but it doesn't matter because if you search the Mackie Speaks leadership journal in your podcast app you uh, you're gonna find it and Mackie is you know one of my best friends he uh, I'm actually a business partner in his business two words character development and uh, and so Mackie is you know, each episode talking about a different element of leadership. Mackie's probably the best communicator uh, I've ever met. And so the fact that he's one of my best friends, uh, that, you know, that's not because he's one of my best friends. I actually thought that long before I was even friends with him. (laughs) Uh, The first time I heard him speak, I just thought, oh my gosh, the way this guy is able to articulate a message uh, in a way that every single person in the room uh, wholeheartedly understands what he's trying to communicate in a, in a clear and succinct way it just was mind blowing to me. And, and I've been very fortunate to build an extremely close friendship with him. I talk to Mackie almost every single day, be it via text or call. And, and I don't like talking on the phone. So the fact that he is, uh, I probably talked to Mackie on the phone more than I talked to my own wife, his podcast immensely valuable. So the Mackie speaks leadership journal, make sure and subscribe to that one. Uh, this next show, the social media growth show from my friend Dylan Hay. Uh, Dylan was on the podcast recently, uh, just an incredible young entrepreneur uh, and and is, is doing some incredible things right now with, uh, I think he's doing some biz dev stuff with a company called Lead Feeder, um, but you know, very entrepreneurial. You can just see in the way he's growing his own personal brand. He started a really thriving Facebook group uh, that is getting a ton of traction. I think he launched it three or four months ago. He's already got close to a thousand people in his Facebook group. Um, I think it's called uh, Selling More with Social Media, uh, but his podcast is called The Social Media Growth Show. It's a brand new show. Uh, really exciting for you to check it out. Um, it's, uh, you know, Dylan just uh, gets modern social selling. He understands, um, you know, how people can do this. He's a, he's, uh, in the game himself and doing it at lead feeder. And because he's a practitioner, he just seems to be on the cutting edge of, of things that are working and things that are not. So make sure to check out Dylan's podcast uh, and follow him on LinkedIn too. The dude is crushing it there as well. Uh, another podcast, The Way I Heard It from Mike Rowe. It was funny. I actually wrote about this podcast in a Huffington Post article that I wrote a long time ago. And uh, and I guess somebody messaged him about it. And Mike Rowe posted about the article that I wrote on his Facebook page. Uh, and somebody sent it to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, he wrote about this. And he wrote about it saying, I'm not sure why I was written about in an article about, uh, you know, about, uh, uh, the best podcast for marketers because the show is definitely not intended to be for marketers. Uh, but the reason I included his show in that Huffington Post article, uh, I think it was like something like, you know, the 15 podcasts every marketer should be listening to or something like that is because the way Mike tells stories is phenomenal. I mean, you, he, he has these, uh, you know, very, intricate, well-told stories that he tells on the show. And there's always like a fun twist at the end. Um, and so I think as marketers, we can absolutely learn how to be better storytellers by listening to that podcast. So the way I heard it for, with Mike Rowe, 
uh, check it out. He's also got uh, a really incredible Facebook uh, watch channel. So I don't know if you've if you uh, subscribe to any shows on Facebook watch, but um, I have been watching Returning the Favor. It's just an incredible show. He goes to you know cities all around the country, finding people that are doing extraordinary things in their community, and he tells that story and then surprises them with something you know really elaborate. So kids that have started nonprofits to you know uh, women that have started cafes that you know, give free meals to homeless people in exchange for um, uh, for them serving in the in the kitchen or, or you know volunteering a certain amount of time in in the cafe just really really cool stories that are incredibly inspirational uh, this last podcast I'm going to talk about is from uh, one of the best men in my wedding I had two best men in my wedding a guy named Jeff Kaler and a guy named Kenny Ortiz this podcast is from Kenny Ortiz a podcast called theology for the rest of us uh, if you are interested in in faith at all uh, this show is incredibly well done. Kenny dives into very granular elements of theology and and talks about them in a way that uh, you know somebody not going to get their degree in theology can hear and understand. So again, if if if, uh, if this is not something that's in your wheelhouse, uh, you won't get a lot of value from this. But um, if you are interested in God at all and have questions about kind of how that whole thing works. Kenny has just done an exceptional job of boiling down um, some very common questions uh, that, uh, and, and sometimes in a lot of ways, very provocative questions, uh, but answers them in, uh, in, in a way that I, I have not heard anyone be able to articulate. And so theology for the rest of us, go listen to Kenny's podcast. So those are the podcasts that are influencing me right now. Uh, subscribe to the ones you think you'd be interested in. Heck, subscribe to all of them and see for yourself if you like them because they are wildly beneficial for me. So this is a, a uh, <laughs> this is a little bit of a longer solo episode. They probably won't go this long normally, but turns out I listen to a lot of podcasts. Go figure. All right. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you soon.